Number 12. Evgenia Shulatieva In September of 2019, Russian woman Evgenia Shulatieva was fatally electrocuted after dropping her phone in the bathtub. It's believed that she was attempting to take a selfie at the time. The 26-year-old accountant was charging her phone, but the device slipped out of her hand. It fell in the water with her and, because it was still connected to the outlet, the young woman suffered a massive electric shock. Unable to reach her on the phone, Shulatieva's mother went to her home where she discovered her lifeless body in the bathtub. Number 11. Bobby Christina Brown In January of 2015, singer Bobby Christina Brown was found unresponsive in the bathtub of her home in Alpharetta, Georgia. The 22-year-old, who was the daughter of American singers Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown, spent roughly six months in a coma and ultimately succumbed to low bar pneumonia. In 2014, Brown married a man named Nick Gordon, who'd been unofficially adopted by Houston when he was 12 and to whom she'd previously referred to as a big brother. It would later be alleged that Gordon had maneuvered himself into a relationship with Brown to gain control of the Houston fortune. Following her mother's death in 2012, the young woman had become the sole beneficiary of the multi-million dollar inheritance. A wrongful death suit would later claim that Gordon had given Brown a toxic cocktail and then placed her face down in a tub of cold water, which caused her brain damage. An autopsy found marijuana, alcohol, benzodiazepines, morphine, and a cocaine-related substance in her system. Her death, however, couldn't be ruled as intentional or accidental. Criminal charges were never brought against him, but Gordon was determined as liable in Brown's death in order to pay over $36 million in damages. He too passed away on January the 1st of 2020, after being found unresponsive in a hotel room. Number 10. Allison Gibson In October of 2018, a Michigan woman got stuck in her bathtub for five days and only survived thanks to the concerns of a postal worker. 54-year-old Allison Gibson sat down in her bathtub and couldn't get back up. The handrail she'd usually use to help herself out was beyond reach. The woman lived alone and, with her cell phone in another room, had no choice but to pray and wait for help. She had no food during the days that she was stuck in the tub. Gibson drank tap water and ran the hot water whenever she would get cold. Due to the constant moisture, the ceiling had begun to drip and mold started growing on the inside of the bathroom door. A postal worker, who'd noticed Gibson's letters piling up in her mailbox, alerted the neighbors. They walked to the back of the woman's house and called out. When Gibson shouted back for help, the neighbors called 911. She was rescued by the authorities and fortunately suffered no serious health impact as a result of her ordeal. Gibson did, however, state plans to have a walk-in bathtub installed as soon as possible. Number 9. Madison Co. In July of 2017, New Mexico teenager Madison Co. suffered a fatal electric shock while taking a bath at her Lovington home. The last time that the 14-year-old made contact with anyone was through a photo of her setup, which she'd sent to one of her friends. She'd placed the extension cord of her phone on a towel and was careful to keep it dry. It was plugged into a non-grounded bathroom wall outlet, and investigators believe that the phone hadn't touched the water. Instead, they suspect that the teen had touched the extension cord, unaware of the fraying that was present on it while still in the bathtub. Coe's family agreed to release the photo, which had been taken up to an hour before the teen's death, as a warning to others about the inherent dangers involving electricity, water, and portable devices. Number 8. Flavia Ioana In May of 2019, a young Romanian woman from the country's Transylvania region drowned in a bathtub after a freak accident had left her paralyzed. Local media reported that 24-year-old Flavia Ioana slipped as she was getting in the tub. She hit her neck on the edge of the bathtub, which caused severe damage to the nerve fibers in her spinal cord. Ioana passed out, then slid underwater and drowned. According to a social media post by her brother, Ioana died without being aware or feeling any pain. Upon returning to the apartment they shared, her boyfriend found her unconscious in the bathtub. He tried calling the emergency services and paramedics tried to revive the young woman, but to no avail. There were no signs of violence on her body and it's unclear if any illegal substances were in Ioana's system at the time. Number 7. Unnamed Frenchwoman In 2018, an unnamed Frenchwoman was found dead in her bathtub from an electric shock. The 21-year-old was an expecting mother only a few weeks from her due date. She was found by her husband, who'd forgotten his keys and was forced to break down his front door when she didn't answer. He called the emergency services after finding a woman unconscious and submerged in the bath. 
Doctors were unable to revive the woman who'd suffered a cardiac arrest. The victim's mobile phone was found charging in the immediate vicinity of the bathtub. It's believed to have been the cause of the electrocution, but it's unclear what the woman had done to trigger it. Number 6. Brianne Marie Rapp On June the 1st of 2018, a Pennsylvania teenager died in what was described as a freak accident. 17-year-old Brianne Marie Rapp was showering to get ready for school. At some point, the teenager fell in the tub and hit her head. It's unclear if Rapp had slipped or passed out from the thyroid medication she was taking at the time. Her mother awoke to find her submerged in the overflowing tub. It's suspected that Rapp's hair had blocked the drain. The teenager drowned in the tub after the water level had risen past her head. Number 5. Unnamed Englishwoman In November of 2019, an elderly Englishwoman was rescued after having been stuck in her bathtub for eight days. The unnamed victim, reported as being in her 70s, was found by police officers who'd forced entry into her home. She was in good condition but was described as very hungry. The alarm had been raised by workers from Wilshire Farm Foods, a meal delivery service, after the woman hadn't placed her usual order. The delivery driver checked in on the woman and contacted the authorities after seeing that her curtains were shut and that her mailbox was full. Number 4. Whitney Houston On February the 11th of 2012, paramedics were called to the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Los Angeles after singer Whitney Houston was found unresponsive in the bathtub. The emergency staff arrived at her suite at approximately 3.30 p.m. and performed CPR, but Houston was pronounced dead at the scene less than half an hour later. There were no signs of criminal intent. The singer had succumbed to the combined effects of heart disease and cocaine, which tests indicated she'd taken shortly before her demise. Houston had drowned in the bathtub and the manner of the death was listed as accidental. A toxicology report would reveal additional drugs in her system, including Xanax, cannabis, and Benadryl. Number 3. Richard Bull East London man Richard Bull died at his home in December of 2011 following the electrocution which occurred as the man was taking a bath. 32-year-old Bull was found by his wife, who at first thought he'd been attacked because of the severe burns on his body. The man had plugged his charger into an extension cord, which he'd run into the bath. While operating his iPhone, Bull rested the charger on his chest. Investigators determined that the part between the phone charger and the cable had touched the water, causing the fatal electrocution. Suicide had initially been considered, but it was ultimately ruled out by a pathologist, and a verdict of accidental death was recorded. Today's topic was requested by Dazza Burger. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Simone W. In December of 2017, a man from Germany was accused of leaving his wife in the bathtub for over a week until she died of pneumonia. Prosecutors argued that the man only identified as 58-year-old Gunther S. ignored his wife's cries for help and let her die. The man rejected their claims and said that his wife, named as Simone W., was perfectly happy in the tub. He said that he'd found the woman inside after she'd hit her head on a shelf. Simone, who was reported as weighing over 320 pounds on a 5'2 frame, couldn't get out. According to Gunther, she repeatedly waved him off when he tried to help her and, over the course of the next few days, made the bathtub more comfortable. Simone would reportedly keep it topped with warm water while browsing her phone and playing games on her tablet. Her husband would bring her coffee every morning. Gunther also claimed that he provided her with snacks and cleaned the tub. When he finally called the emergency services, it was determined that his wife had succumbed to pneumonia and had been dead for two days. Gunther was arrested on a charge of abandonment, resulting in death. Number 1. Megan Walsh in 2017, an Australian teenager died in a bathtub after suffering an epileptic fit at a friend's home in Newcastle. 19-year-old Megan Walsh, who was 14 weeks pregnant at the time, had been receiving treatment for epilepsy since she was a child. According to her sister, Walsh had started to absorb the medication faster after becoming pregnant, and her seizures had become harder to control. The young woman's friend had gotten worried and started knocking on the bathroom door but received no response. It was then that Walsh's friend went in to find her cold, not breathing, and with blue lips. She called the emergency services and desperately attempted to revive her. Unfortunately, Walsh would later be pronounced dead in the hospital. Thanks for watching. Would you rather get in a bathtub that was full of leeches or in a swimming pool with an anaconda? Let us know in the comments section below.